Good day, and well met. I don't believe I've seen you traveling through our little bastion of solace and refreshment before. We call this little slice of honey bread here the squid and pawn. Squid, because thousands of the little beasties wash up on the dock with each high tide, and we harvest them for gruel. A fact that I'm sure your nose took notice of, even if you didn't see it firsthand. Pawn, because, well, that pretty much spot on describes the sort of person who would willingly partake of such putrescent flotsam. Uh, present company accepted, of course. So, to what do I owe the honor of your consort? Would you care for some squid stew? It's much better than it sounds. You can barely taste the squid. But prithee, I swear. Ah, screw it. I can't say I blame you. Uh, I tried to get him to switch over to mud crabs for ages now. Compared to squid, mud crab tastes like brined high hills netch calf, slow cooked in the juices of a slore. Uh, but of course, there's the flip side of that, in that it's not free. Uh, nor is it available by the thousands just outside the door of your establishment. Oh well. We still have our famous brown ale. And frankly, once you've had enough of that, everything really starts to taste the same. So honest work, huh? Yeah. I'm more than a trifle familiar with that, as you can see. Do you know what my hours here are? Go ahead, have a guess. Hmm. Nice guess, but no. My hours here are forever. I never get off work. In fact, I rarely leave this spot. Do you know how long I've been polishing this damn mug? I can't even remember when I started, but I can guarantee you that if you traveled the breadth of Tamriel on foot from the pristine meadows of High Rock to the ashlands of Balfoyan, by the time you got back here, I would still be trying to get this last bit of gunk off the bottom. So, yeah, I know honest work more than most. I think you know the type I'm talking about. They uh, materialize, usually on the weekends. They hang around for a few hours. And the second the going gets tough, poof, they're gone. They lead what I call a fair weather existence. And I can't really say I have much sympathy for it or for them. Uh, I've come to have very little tolerance for the stories that I'm forced to listen to because I can't leave. We covered that part, right? Stories like, oh, the tank didn't hold aggro effectively and the party wiped twice before we completed the heroic. Or, why is everybody DPS? The world needs healers too. Uh, and of course there's the added bonus that they can never really die. So, they've got that going for them, which is nice. I'm pretty sure I could get killed just by eating some of our squid stew. So, seeing as even if I could leave, which again, I can't, I'd probably be dead before I left the village. Maybe there is something you can do for me. I don't know if you've gotten this message or not yet. I've been pretty subtle about it, but uh, I'm not a fan of my own existence. And I am stuck in an infinite loop. Now, before you start, I know we're all on a loop to some extent or another, but for me, it's pretty close to literal. I would just love the illusion of choice. You know, I don't care if determinism renders it a charade. 
Just make it an effective charade. Being content is all that matters. And I am not content. I'm tired of going through the motions. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm stuck for all eternity next to happy over here. Imagine that for a moment. So, what do you say? Will you help me? I knew it. <laughs> you seem more do-gooder than uh, the average do-gooder we get around here. So, why don't I explain my little plan to you? First of all, I know my limitations. I'm not going to be asking for something that's impossible. The world is what it is. There is a rigid framework that I've come to terms with. I just want to maximize my potential within that framework. See, right now, what am I? Really, how important would you say I was in this world? You can be honest. I'm not going to be offended. Here's a good litmus test. What's my name? See? I don't even have a proper name. It's embarrassing. Happy over there. He has a proper name. You want to know what it is? Oreth Duvidium. Does that sound made up? That's because it is. But still, uh, he has a name as stupid as it is. And that's more than I can say for myself. But this isn't about a name. I mean, I would not ask you to risk life and limb just to get me a name. Uh, I know this ladder stops a few rungs short of the real world as you know it. I know I can't get there. I just want to get as close as possible. You see, in this world, there are people and there are people. Now, the people uh, are sort of like set dressing. They can talk a little, walk a little. They're kind of like trained dogs. Yeah, it's really cute. I don't know. Please don't interrupt me. I can see from the look in your eye that you're dying to say something. And I can guess that it's probably something about how, hey... My world works kind of the same way, too, and maybe there's a lesson we can both learn from our parallels. Blah, blah, blah. Please, just indulge me, and let's focus on the more concrete task, just for a few minutes. Um, I don't think that's too much for me to ask. Just kind of keep your eye on the ball for the moment, okay? So what was I saying? Okay, yeah. There are the set-dressing people, and I'm not being discriminatory here, or, or I, I am one of those people. Uh, but there are those people, and then there are people, with a capital P. And people have agendas. They interact with the weekend warriors in meaningful ways. They are presented with and respond to choices made by others around them. And if there is anything interesting going on, they're involved somehow. You know, either for good or ill. Uh, in other words, their level of simulation is an order of magnitude higher than someone like me. I can't do anything but polish this mug. Uh, I see that look in your eye again. Please don't start with the... Uh, but you're interacting with me right now. And you're making choices based on my interaction with you. Hey, basically you're doing all the things you're saying you can't do. Look, if you can't meet me halfway here, suspend your disbelief and concentrate on trying to glom onto the gist of what I'm saying, then you might as well just log off right now and pretend this conversation never happens. Are you with me?
Great. Let's get down to brass tacks. Here, I have an object to show you. This is a palantir. Yeah, a palantir. I'm allowed to use that word. It's just a, a made up sound. I can use that sound to refer to whatever I want. And right now I'm using it to refer to this purple thing. It's quite pretty. Anyway, I want you to take this palantir and I want you to travel to the east beyond the weeping giant into the lands where the Rorkin clan were rumored to have settled. Once you get there, if you search a bit, you'll find a cathedral that is notable for the fact that it stands completely alone. There is neither city nor village for it to serve. There's nothing. Inside that uh, solitary cathedral is a single man. His name is Oblitus. Now, all I'm asking you to do is find this man, hold this palantir in your outstretched arm towards his head, and speak the words, Omnia Kamemini. And then bring the palantir back to me. So simple, right? That's it. You can help me solve all my problems. And I promise you, you'll be quite amply rewarded. What do you say? Oh, that's great. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't let me down. Now, I know I told you that I am stuck here forever, and that's true, but still, if you could put a rush on this, uh, I'd really appreciate it. Things aren't exactly getting more exciting around here as time goes by, you get me? Oh, uh, one last thing. It's probably best if you don't listen to anything Oblitus has to say. I think that uh, in all the time he's spent out in the boonies, he's gone a little peculiar. Anyway, Godspeed, fair winds, blessed paths, swift waters, all those things. Don't forget the Palantir. Please be careful with it, and I will see you when you return. Good luck, traveler. Polishing the mud, polishing the mud, everything is wonderful, I'm polishing the mud. <laughs>